Here at the Narracourt sale yards, like all livestock sales, sellers walk away knowing exactly how much they earned for each and every kilo. But how much each kilo costs to produce, well that's a different story. It's not like the selling agent hands you a bit of paper after the sale with it neatly underlined. Craig Bruin manages Maranoa Downs just outside Narracourt. Yeah, Ken, how are you? Yeah, good day, Craig. Yeah, you got all those figures under control? I think so, I think so. I'll put a bit of time in there. Yeah, I think you'll find it. And today, he's sitting down with local farm management consultant Ken Solly to work out his per kilo cost of production using a cost of production calculator available from the MLA website. We've got all the cost categories here, but we've got to get our production right first. So, could you give us the cow numbers? all the stock numbers as we go forward. Like, I mean, if you had asked me the question, what, you, what does it cost you to produce a kilo of beef? You'd so, if you didn't know anything about it, you'd think a farmer should be able to answer that question, but I don't think there would be many farmers that could tell you off the top of their head what it does cost them to produce a kilo of beef. The calculator takes data from Maranoa Downs on production, livestock enterprise costs, labour and overheads, including pasture costs, and delivers both a cost of production per kilo for the business and a picture of how it compares with others across Southern Australia. Now we're in a position where we can move forward and start to look at the individual costs now that we've got the production right. The, the critical element about this in the first instance isn't necessarily the exact cents per kilo, but it's to determine what range you're in, whether you're efficient or inefficient or an average producer then from one year to the next to be able to compare your own cost of production against yourself and then if you do have other, other like producers in your area we'll get a handle on the differences and, and to be able to drill down within a business and try and identify other systems that are actually doing it better than you and perhaps uh, bring that back into your own business. Now it would be a mistake to think that the aim of the whole exercise is simply to cut costs. It's about figuring out a way to increase the amount of beef or lamb you produce for every dollar it costs you. And sometimes, but not always, the way to do that is to increase your total costs for an even greater increase in total production. Here at Maranoa Downs, well, the exercise has highlighted the cost per kilo of supplementary feeding and confirmed that extra investment in pastures that Craig had already begun is a sensible step. In 06 we had to start feeding stock in, in, in around about August, September, which you'd expect the place to still be green then. So that, that, that put a lot of strain on our um, cost of production in terms of cents per kilo. But what we're trying to do is, is grow uh, deep rooted perennials like Lucin and Chicory. And, and we get an earlier start with higher quality and then we get a, probably an extra month to five weeks at the end of the season which nearly, like if you add them both together, you get an extra two months worth of feed that you don't have to feed and your, and your stock is still ma maintaining or gaining weight. MLA's cost of production calculator is a one-stop shop for cattle, sheep and goat producers wanting to know their cost of production. It lets you compare relative costs across your production systems if you're a multi-enterprise producer. You can choose your enterprise type or types when you first open the tool. You can also save your results and retrieve them again later. This allows you to monitor your cost of production over time and track changes as they occur, for example as a result of changes in management practices. The calculator also incorporates benchmark data collected over a decade by agribusiness consultants Holmes Sackett and Associates. The benchmark data is available for beef and sheep and allows you to see how your own cost of production compares to other producers in Southern Australia. That benchmarking data shows higher cost producers can outlay close to three times as much as others to produce each kilo. This highlights the importance of and the great variability around on-farm production and on-farm management. Producers are strongly encouraged to translate all their production costs into a kilogram rate breaking it down to a cost per kilo figure will allow you to better understand the cost that goes into the end product you're selling. I think the journey is more important than the destination. You know, as we're working through it, we're analysing uh, the costs, individual costs, and we're, we're making a positive decision about each of those inputs. 
The cost production calculator isn't one of those things that you can just come up with an answer in 10 minutes. You've got to put a bit of work into it and find the real data. Now we know what it does cost us to produce a kilo of beef and you know, we've got something to work with. Like if you haven't got anything to work with, you know, where do you start, where do you finish?